we go. Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of the Midtown Comics Facebook Live Show. My name is Greg, and today I am with the very awesome Victor Melendez. How's it going? Works here at Midtown Comics Times Square. How does it feel working here, man? Uh, I love it. Times Square is the, we're the oldest location, uh, the biggest. Uh, we get the best books. We have all the figures that you guys need. Um, I love working here. He also loves Midtown Comics Downtown and Midtown Comics Grand Central. Yeah. Also great locations with a lot to offer, and they Very each have their own unique sales, and they all have awesome staff uh, at each of those locations, and they'll be joining us eventually as well, hopefully as soon as next week. But yeah, so today we are in Midtown Comics Times Square. We're going to make some comic recommendations, talk about comic book movie news. But first, we have a signing with Gail Simone tomorrow at Midtown Comics Downtown, which is on 64 Fulton you Street. You don't say. I do not say. What? Well, I do say, actually. Uh, so that'll be from 6 to 8 p.m. Gail Simone, uh, if you're not familiar with her, she is an awesome writer. Secret oh, Six. Man. Batgirl, uh, Wonder Woman, Villains Red United, Sonia. The Infinite Crisis Gone. miniseries. Yes. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. Did I say Batgirl, Wonder you Woman, did. Yeah, Secret yeah. Six? What Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Thank you. That was yeah. the one that was eluding my memory. Yeah. So she will be there from 6 to 8 tomorrow, Midtown Comics Town, uh, Downtown, excuse me, on 64 Fulton Street. If you do want to go, try your best to show up early. Yeah. It's definitely going to be pretty crowded. So if I you think so. definitely want to meet her. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's an open signing. Uh, you can get up to three comics signed. Not these. She didn't write any of these. We're going to talk about these later. But you can get up to three comics, items. It could be, a, you know, an action figure, a trade Based paperback. Based word, graphic mm -hmm. novel, poster. I mean, whatever yeah. you have that's related to Gail Simone, bring it down and she'll, she'll sign it for you. Yeah, as long as it's up to three, we're good. So that's tomorrow. And um, there's a new signing coming out next week, next Thursday to be exact. It's going to be a ticketed event, which oh means, boy. yeah, you got to go to blog.midtowncomics.com to enter the ticket raffle. Winners will be picked randomly. We use a website called Rafflecopter, uh, so it's purely random who's going to get to attend. And that is going to be a signing with Scott Snyder. For what? All, yeah. <laughs> yes, he will be here for all, he'll, he'll be <laughs> celebrating All-Star Batman number eight. Came out this week. Same rules as Gail Simone. You, if you do get a ticket... Remember, go to blog.midtowncomics.com to enter that ticket awesome. raffle. Love Scott Snyder. Yeah. I've, I, we, I've met him multiple times here at the store or at the cons. Really awesome, sweet guy. Yes. Great to talk to. Loves his fans. Uh, big fan of all his work. Wave, uh, American Vampire, the Batman run that he's just finished. Mm -hmm. All-Star Batman. Just phenomenal writer. Yeah, very talented guy. Very nice guy. So enter the ticket raffle. Hopefully we'll see you at that. Uh, and that is next Thursday. Uh, if you enter, you'll get an email either on Monday or Tuesday with more details. So best of luck to everyone out there. But now, let's recommend some current comics. All Vic, right. Three, uh, I think three. we have two comics and one collection, I right? I do. I have a f quite a, yeah. Um, broke your rules a bit. Yeah, so I have three comics, but I got one collection. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the collection here. All right. Uh, this week, Batman, Ego, and Other Stories came out. Uh, it's a collection of all of Darwin Cook's, uh, a few Darwin Cook stories. Um, it comes with uh, the one-shot Ego. Uh, the one shots, the uh, Batman Spirit, Selena's big score, uh, there's some stuff from Black and White. If any of you were ever fans of Darwin Cook, The New Frontier, any of the old Batman animated series, those designs were based on C Darwin Cook's art as long, along with, you know, Bruce Tim. Uh, unfortunately, he did pass away uh, sometime last year, so mm -hmm. a lot of his stuff's definitely being reprinted and put out, and I highly recommend picking this up. This is just classic Batman art. Love the story. Love Darwin Cook. I highly recommend you guys pick this up. It was great that uh, Peter Tomasi and Patrick Leeson paid some yeah. respect to him in their Superman run as well. There was a two-issue story arc after yeah. he unfortunately passed. The, uh, the, yeah, the, the whole the world that time forgot with all the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. based on the New Frontier. You guys got to read it. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, as for singles this week, we got uh, Wildstorm number two. Uh, it's Warren Ellison's uh, revival of the Wildstorm line, started by Jim Lee way back when, during Image, then he brought it over to DC. Um, I love this book. I love Warren Ellis, uh, his Moon Knight arc, uh, Injection, everything, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts, everything yeah. man has written, I've been a fan of. So I got <laughs> really excited when he was going to do bring back Wildstorm. As you can tell by that cover, we're bringing back Grifter. And uh, pretty much the same, li like the duster, like the whole, you know, ammo pack, uh, vest that he's got going. I'm um, not going to really talk still what's going on in the book. I highly, it's worth reading. And I, no spoilers. Don't go read on the websites or reviews. Check this book out. If you love, like, high concept sci-fi by Warren Ellis, I highly recommend this. Uh, the next two are kind of like my, my B-movie picks. Uh, 
We're going to go with uh, IDW has been doing a Highlander miniseries. Mm -hmm. um, love Highlander. Grew up watching the movies, the TV show. Even as bad as they are, the sequels, not the first one. I love Highlander. And this, this series is basically set the t uh, a little bit within the first film. It deals with uh, a little bit more of Connor's past, stuff that wasn't shown in the film. And it's just it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It gives me hope for when they actually... Re uh, bring back the series, bring back the franchise, hopefully. So IDW does great work with a lot of franchises. They do, yeah. Ghostbusters, yeah. Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah they adapted um, Drive last year, which is based on the actual novel, not so much the movie of Ryan Gosling, and that was excellent as well. So they, they have a lot of great success with licenses. Mm -hmm. So definitely check this one out. This one, uh, this is like my really hardcore B-movie New York. Uh, <laughs> Black Mass has his new series called The Dregs. Um, which essentially is just about a future society that seems to be flourishing by eating uh, the homeless. So uh, basically, yeah, first few pages gets a little graphic -y with, you know, people the homeless being chowed down into uh, that night's entree. <laughs> It's a really fun series. Black Mass is known for like really weird, quirky <laughs> indie titles. Eating the homeless. It's yeah. really fun. <laughs> it's really fun. You know, you never know. But uh, it, the concept alone uh, has me very interested. It reminds me a lot of like Larry Cohen's The Stuff, um, Chud, which is like, these old, obscure New York B movie horror movies. Really has that feel to it. Very grungy. Um, I like the art. Um, it's just a real high concept idea that you wouldn't really see in any other kind of uh, format. And it, it just works as a comic. And I, if you're looking for something that's different, that's not DC, it's not Marvel, it's, you know, not Image, uh, highly recommend it. But definitely Old Man Logan <coughs> from uh, last week, really good issue. Getting really excited for the the next arc that uh, Lemire and Sorrentino is doing. The, it's his final arc, too. It's final. Oh, God, don't say that. Uh, no, I'm, sorry. I'm sad to see him go. Yeah. Uh, but definitely these three picks... I highly recommend it. It's a good creative team jumping on board after Lemire, though. Yeah, I'm so, uh, quite Ed Brisson, uh, Mike Deodata Jr. Love taking Mike on the Maestro Deodata. Hulk, right? Yeah. So I, I'm actually very excited for that. Yeah. I'm very excited for that. Brisson's got a uh, Iron Fist coming out. Coming out next week. Co I, yeah. I read oh. the preview of that. Looks pretty uh, promising. Okay. Uh, okay. Bullseye's twisted fun from him. That's right. I did yeah. read issue one for that. That was good at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all right. So I'm definitely excited for that. And I love Mike Dio Down Jr. for oh, yeah. long, long time. Him, his dad, great art. So I think Old Man Logan will be in good hands. Yeah. Hopefully. Um. So that's the reprint of issue one. Do you know reprint. what issue it's up to? It's right up to Dregs uh, number two. Just came out. If okay. I'm not mistaken, last week we do have both issues available here at the, our location, also at GC or downtown. Also, it will also be available on the website, guys. So definitely check out the dregs. Yeah. Uh, I haven't read too much from Black Mass Studio before kids walk into a bank from okay. the store, uh, Matthew Rosenberg. <laughs> That's another good one. Story. If you like Stranger Things, you love uh, some uh, nostalgia trip, okay. check it out, man. It's, it's really good. What you got? Um, so I am uh, also doing some titles that no one has obviously heard of before. Oh. Batman. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've never, never heard right? that one before. Okay. <laughs> so Batman. I believe this is uh, it's it's chapter three or four of I, I Am Bane. Four. Yeah. four. Yeah. yeah. It, but it's continuation of I Am Bane which is Bane wants revenge. He does. Uh, Batman took something away from Bane. I'm not going to say what in case you haven't been reading Tom King's wrong. No. Uh, Tom King's the writer. Uh, the artist, excuse me, is uh, David Finch. Got uh, Danny Mickey on ink. You have uh, Jordi Belair on colors. If you ever ask yourself, how many people can Bane punch in a single issue? Here's your answer right here. I've read uh, it. Yeah. It's quite good. Let me, uh, let me show off a sample of Bane just... Going to town on all... He basically goes into Arkham Asylum. And uh, anyone who's in his way, all he has to yeah. offer them is pain. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. He's not the kind of deal... Uh, not the kind of guy who wants to compromise. He's Bane. He yeah. shouldn't have to compromise. Nah. Let me find another little teaser for you. Yeah, David Finch has been really on point. He's doing some great with work in art on, on Batman. Yeah. The first arc, I Am Gotham. I was so excited when he came back for the I Am Bane. Uh, I just... Ah, it looks great. This Everybody is, is... Oh, yeah, man. He's putting a lot of time into this. Yeah, this is an amazing Bane looking looks issue. Terrifying. It, terrifying. it reminds me of when he was working on Moon Knight, because that, yeah. that's where he really impressed me. Absolutely. And this is just continuing to Moon just Knight, knock it out of the uh, park, New Avengers with Bendis. Oh, yeah. Love yeah. that stuff. Yeah, so uh, Batman, number 19. You want to know why Bane is one of Batman's best villains, yeah. which is something I firmly believe... 
Yes. Here's him taking on a bunch of other villains and showing them who's boss. Yeah. It's a good thing Clayface wasn't in there. Because if he tried to punch Clayface, it's not going to go well for Bane. I, I love so. Bane, but that's not a fair fight for him. He needs to... Just, like, suffocate him with some of that play. Yeah, it wouldn't go too well. Bane would need some prep time. He needs full of Batman, yeah. bring some gadgets. But, yeah. It'd be uh, messy. What's up? It'd be messy. It'd it be would messy. be messy. I think it'd be yeah. messy. Thank you, John. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and my second pick, The Return of I Hate Fairyland oh, from course. Image Comics yeah. and love Scotty Young. You love it. Yeah. I called uh, Bullseye before Twisted Fun. That's exactly what I Hate Fairyland is. Yes. You take this Disney wonderful creative fantasy and you make it as weird and funny and Dark. messed up as possible. Just, it is wow. It is Scotty Young completely unleashed. Uh, this is the one series that my wife and I read together. We both love it. It brings us, yeah, it brings us so much joy. And in this issue, Gert goes to a convention, and she meets her hero. Um, seeing as it's I Hate Fairyland, it obviously doesn't go too well. But as you can see by the cover, maybe she meets someone who you know views her yeah. as their hero, oh, and boy. she sees what it's like to be on the other side and have people worship her. Uh. It is read this series if you love smiling if you love laughing and twisted fun and it looks amazing it's so creative i can't recommend it enough it's yeah, one of no, my I've favorite the, series i've read the first volume it's great stuff it's a second it's volume just, man it's, it's, on sale. it's, it's a lot yeah. of fun yeah oh absolutely yeah shame yeah. on me i haven't gotten a second volume <laughs> you're Excuse reading me. a gazillion comics it's I, okay. I try yeah. i try to keep up it, it's tough there are so many good options out there it really is speaking of good options super sons number two i love this book yes we both love it oh, so man. much uh, ah. Peter Tomasi, amazing writer. So he does such good work with both uh, Batman and Superman. He's addressed so many different family <laughs> dynamics. Yeah. He's done the father son, uh, and now he's doing this kind of a sibling rivalry. Yeah, pretty much. Where, yeah. where John and Damien, they're yeah, very competitive. I see that a lot. Yeah, I'm they have arguments it. about who would win in a fight. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like, well, I would have blocked it's your like kick. Two <laughs> bickering brothers just yeah. going back and forth with each other. I love it. I love it so much. They, their interaction with Lex Luthor. It's yes. just like it's yeah. an event. It's like a kids' adventure movie that you would wish you could make yourself. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. And Jorge Jimenez, his artwork has been so good. It's, it's been on point. Yeah, it's since the guy came to DC. I love it. I'm trying to find a really good page here. Bear with me. My hands are shaky. I only have coffee in my system right now. No food. So I just want to give you guys a good example of how amazing this book looks without spoiling anything. Because there's a really good panel of them both. Yeah, there we go. I love that. Just, the book just has so much personality and charm. and It's just very stylized. Fun. I love it, man. The, the angles that he gets in, they're just it's very yeah. fluid. You can tell that he's just having a blast drawing these two guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then I'll, I'll show off this as well. Oh, definitely, please. Yes. Yeah. Whether you love or hate Damien, you should be reading this comic. Yeah, honestly. The, it's it, Toss aside any you know any ideas you have of Damien Wayne, Bruce Wayne's son, how, how much you like him or do not like him. Yeah. Read this. Also, Coincidentally, he's also featured in Nightwing's current arc. Yes. Um, if you guys are fans of Grant Morrison's Batman and Robin run, I highly recommend reading the current Nightwing run going on right now mm -hmm. because it's literally a throwback to the first arc of Batman and Robin. The real dynamic duo. The real dynamic duo. Dick and there's, Damien. Yeah, there's a lot of throwbacks to just how much they are like the best team, and it's just really fun to see Damien bicker at Nightwing yeah. and just basically saying that he's stealing his mantle from him and he will not do that from him. We can't take away his mantle. It, I love it. Yeah. So good. Speaking of the Bat Family, uh, the Batman, there were reports the yes. other day that the movie is getting a complete rewrite. Uh, these are just reports. We have no idea whether or not that's actually happening. We'll see. It, it could be because there, nego there were uh, pretty extensive negotiations with director Matt Reeves, it seems. Yeah. So he likely wants a little more creative control. As he should. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm optimistic. I mean, you have a script by Jeff Johns and Ben Affleck, both yeah. very talented writers, both love this source material, and now you're going to have Matt Reeves either doing something completely new or presenting his own take on what well, they. I honestly think gave. it's the that's the right thing to do. I mean, he's already he made uh, his one of his, his first feature was like Let Let Me In, which was just an American remake of Let the White One In, which a lot of people consider very superior. It's a nice, awesome vampire movie that came out a while ago. Uh, he's already shown that he can handle the franchise with the last, uh, you know, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and now so the good. upcoming War of the Planet of the Apes, which looks mm -hmm. amazing. Yes. So I got really excited when his name popped up for the Batman. This is a guy who should do Batman yeah. and should have 
the best, the most amount of creative control. If Logan has shown us anything, is that when you let a director do what he has to do and you know set up the movie the way he does, mm -hmm. the results are tremendous. I mean, yeah. Logan was amazing. So let Matt Reeves do what he wants to do, and we'll probably get like probably the best Batman movie since The Dark Knight. Yeah, everything that I would want from a Batman movie, Matt Reeves can do well. Uh, world building, yeah. characters, emotion, action scenes. Yeah. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is such a intelligent and epic, visually stunning movie. It's, War of the Planet uh, of the Apes looks great. I, I'm more than excited. Yeah. I love it. So, we're optimistic, and I don't know about you, but I'm cool with waiting as long as it takes for yeah, that movie to be done right. if they want right. to push it back, let's do it. Yeah. Like, look, I think patience and waiting and planning it out is better than just rushing Absolutely. into it. Absolutely. If Absolutely. anything we have seen throughout last year was just like when you rush into something, mm -hmm. the results don't turn out the way you want. So let's definitely take our time with the Batman because he definitely deserves it this time yeah. around. And in the meantime, it's not like there aren't a lot of great Batman stories for you to enjoy. No, Animated, it's live action, comics. There's there's so many di video Books. games. There's so many options. Uh, go watch the animated movies. The Dark Knight Mask Returns, the, the two-part. Yeah. Mask of the Phantasm, Under the Red Hood. HBO Go has them all available right now. You can just watch them all in a row. Yeah, there are a lot of great options. There's, of course, the other live-action movies. It's yeah. decades and decades of comics for you to read in the meantime. Pretty I'm looking much. forward to the Batman. Take your time. I'm not rushing Seriously. it. Uh, uh, that's a movie that's worth waiting for, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so, and then we also uh, have a sale going on at all Midtown Comics stores right now. So Times Square, Downtown, and Grand Central. 20% off all action figures. 20% off? What? <laughs> so everything Have we all there, lost our minds? Yeah, so you can get Armored Batman from The Dark Knight Returns, 20% off. 20% off? Carrie Kelly, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn. Uh, and then there's also a bunch of Marvel on this side. Starts over here, you got classic Cyclops, Iron Man. Uh, Cable, if you're looking for the Deadpool movies, the next one, oh. Cable. Uh, I see Ghost Rider, Colossus. I see two different Wolverines over there. And this is just a small sample of all Basically the action guys, figures that you can choose from. If you're looking for any figures, we hopefully and probably do have them here. 20% mm -hmm. off. Please come on down, clear my inventory so we can get <laughs> even more cool stuff to put out on sale for you guys. The, the 112 Mescos are definitely on sale. I highly recommend those. I buy those myself. They are the best. If you don't want to Flash break, came out this week, right? Flash came out. We got Batman, the new uh, Superman from the BVS. Mm -hmm. We got uh, Daredevil, Reverse Flash. Green Arrow, Green Joker. Arrow. If Punisher. you guys don't really want to break the bank for a hot toy, I highly recommend yeah, Mescos 112. They are amazing. Mm -hmm. The best figures. It's also NECA. NECA is my selection. favorite uh, distributor for toys. They, we have a lot, a whole bunch of alien figures. We just got the two-pack mm -hmm. of Hudson and Hicks. You know, unfortunately, Bill Paxton passed away a few weeks back, so definitely I highly recommend if you're collecting the figures, if you're a fan of aliens, you got to get that set because I definitely am. I got my own little alien set uh, coming together. All looking forward are, to Covenant? I am absolutely looking forward to Covenant. I'm very, I'm a real purist for Alien. I'm very, <laughs> also very cautious. Okay. Prometheus uh, didn't leave me very as satisfied but great looking movie very beautiful looking just stupid mistakes <laughs> you know but covenant does look like it's the movie i guess really intended to make yeah. originally so it's of course correct I, i'm more than excited more than down uh 426 you know guys get ready for that you know april 26 is alien day so I'm pretty sure we'll have a whole bunch of alien themed books available. Dark Horse is putting out new collections. Yeah, they have a lot of omnibuses. Omnibus right? is yeah. available. They're reprinting a lot of stuff. There's a mm -hmm. new series from James Stoko coming out, written and drawn by him. A whole new mm -hmm. alien mini series. I highly recommend it. If you guys were a fan of Orkstein or Godzilla the Half Century War or any of the stuff that he did during Moon the current run of Moon Knight with Jeff Lemire. He has a new series written and drawn by himself and it looks amazing. I always wanted this guy to draw something that like some genre stuff with aliens just like a dream come true. Look out for that series. It should be hitting uh, later this month or next. Yeah, and that uh, action figure sale, once again, 20% off everything. That's running until March 21st. Yeah. So, so do your research. Yeah, come almost in. all week. Come on down, guys. Mm -hmm. We got so much stuff here. Please. Please. There's a lot. There, you guys there's like a Funkos. huge variety. We have a whole bunch of DC, Marvel, there's indie figures. There's a Kong Funko over there where he's grabbing a helicopter. Very entertaining movie. Look at this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want this. I know you do. Come on down and get it. Seriously. He's adorable. I love him. <laughs> All right. So, there's also, uh, next week is a big one for Valiant Comics. They have Exo Man War number one, Ooh. their most iconic character, starting a brand new series. Okay. That's looking very promising. Yeah. Also, Bloodshot Zero. 
So two of their biggest characters have huge oh. issues next week. That's going to be really exciting. Okay. Yeah, looking forward to that. And also, congrats to Spencer Cohen. He won the uh, autographed uh, comic. Autographed comic. It, oh. He won a comic signed by Brian Michael Bendis. That is what I am attempting to say. All right. So congrats to Spencer Cohen. Congratulations, Thank you very dude. much. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have more con uh, contests coming yeah. up. Hopefully we'll have more guests as well. Maybe yeah. some creators will hop on board. We'll see. Thank you very, very much for watching. Vic, any closing comments to all the people watching on Facebook Live? Come on down to Midtown Comics, Times Square, GC, downtown. Come talk to me. Talk to any of the guys. We have tons of recommend recommendations for you. Excuse me. Uh, I want to talk comics. I want to talk movies. We know it all. Come on down. Talk to us. Spend some money. Buy some books. Take, uh, take some of these Funkos off our hands. Just come on down, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Be good to each other. And we'll see you next week.